Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We got good news here for you. The first phase of Dungeon Worlds from Wombat is available. It is the mining portion of it, but please keep in mind that this is the very, very, very basic version of the mining. Uh, they had an a Adrian had an AMA session today where he kind of walked through some of the details and he he didn't quite come out and say it, but he, he stressed that these first few phases of Dungeon Worlds is going to be uh, a, a basic version of it. And then once the actual full version of Dungeon Worlds comes out, it's 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 going to be, uh, I don't want to say more complex, I, I go ahead and say more deep. So please take this first part with a grain of salt because it's only meant to really test out the mining side of it. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and talk through the details of it make sure you're all familiar with the process and then we'll go ahead and actually dive into the worlds and show you how to stake on stake mine and, and do all that fun stuff so i wanted to get that caveat out there early i also want to go ahead and do another caveat because we will talk about potentially purchasing uh different nfts so please make sure you do your re own research before you dive into any game i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i'm just a gamer just like you are trying to play a game but i'm also making a video to try and educate people with the different parts of the games so make sure it's right for your situation before you jump into anything all right now that one's out of the way let's go ahead and talk about it if you go over to the wombat discord there is a, a new medium article that's available that talks about the mining uh it doesn't exactly it, it, it skips a few things as far as the login process and actually showing the game itself that's why i wanted to do this two-part video here for you i should say it's one part it's one video but two sections of it um how do you do the mining or how do you jump into dungeon worlds at this point right now, in order to mine in Dungeon Worlds, you need two things. You need a plot of land, and you need a character. This is different than Dungeon Masters, where you automatically get the character and the dungeons available for you. This is branching into that brand new section of Dungeon Worlds that's going to be a lot deeper than Dungeon Masters. So you, in order to do this mining, you need those two things. You can either go ahead on the secondary market grab the items they are rather pricey just to be aware of that or you can go over to nefty uh they are doing a new land drop on nefty let's see if this takes me to it are we gonna get lucky there we go yeah it, over on nefty as far as a drop from dungeon items or dungeon masters or wombat however you want to refer to it they have a new drop here each piece of land does cost two hundred dollars be aware of that so the little price here on the secondary market they're actually more expensive so be aware of that and when you purchase this you get a random piece of land so it could be a coal land it could be a uranium land or it could be a gold land gold land is going to be very rare so don't expect that uh, and then you can also go ahead and grab character packs those are still available or you can get them on the secondary market that's how you jump in you need those two items in order to go ahead and do this uh, what you're going to be basically do is you can have one of your characters mining on one piece of land uh, and whatever that land's main material is or their material is, that's what you'll be essentially harvesting as you're going through the process. There are four different types of materials that you can harvest. There's coal, there's iron, there's uranium, and there's gold. Coal being the most common, all the way down to gold being the most rare. Uh, and this shows you the different rates. Um, as I mentioned, this is a very basic version of the mining effort. So you're basically going to stake your character there and they're just going to keep mining you're not going to have to do different runs you're not going to have to do different things you can just go and collect whenever you're ready to collect and you'll get those different items that you can go ahead and put into your your inventory as far as crafting different things please also understand that these this materials that you earn in dungeon worlds will not go towards helping you in the well of wealth in dungeon master so if you have to happen to have a task that's available that you need a uh a thousand iron that you need to harvest this is not going to add to it so be aware of that don't expect that to really boost also your boost items from dungeon master will not impact your boosting here right now it's going to be a straight straight mining um and once training comes out here shortly you'll be able to boost up your mining ability and so forth and so forth down the road so right now again very basic basic uh mining just to really test and give you a feel for the new environment all right, let's go over to the, the actual game itself and let me show you how to do the staking, what it's gonna look like. And I think that's what people are most interested in right now is what's the new version gonna look like. So if you go over to worlds.wombat.app slash login, it's gonna take you to the screen. And this is where you're gonna essentially 
be able to log in and check out the new game itself. Uh, if you, I, I am uh, logging in with my Wax Wallet, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll register and just approve all this fun stuff. Uh, it's basically going to ask me to call a smart contract. And then we'll go ahead and prove it basically is saying, and this is the new format that you have here. It's very basic for right now, but essentially what's going to happen is as you continue, as they continue to roll out different features in this early phase, you'll get different buildings here to train, to breed, and all that fun stuff. And then eventually down the road, once the full dungeon world uh, game comes out, there's going to be much more involved, including dungeon and different things down the road. So this is the mine. This is the first feature that's available. You can't really click on anything else that's in here other than mine. So go ahead and click on mine. And it's going to give you a few options. Uh, it's, you have the option to build your mine, which basically means staking your land to allow you to mine. You have the send characters. That's assigning a character to a mine. You can recall characters and you can close mines. which is basically unstaking the characters and unstaking the mines. Very basic approach for right now. So let's go ahead and stake our, our one piece of land that we have available right now. Uh, basically, it's going to show you, it shows you the piece of land. This is a coal mine for me. Uh, it shows you the materials, the coordinates, and you. Uh, it has a, a link where you can go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and grab some more land if that's what you want to do. But in order to stake it, you go ahead and click on it, and it's going to say build mine. So what's going to happen, it's going to make sure that it stakes it, goes through the full authentication process, and then... Right now, as you can see, I have no more mines available, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Doesn't change anything to the actual U UI that you have available, but if I go to send character now, this is now staked. This is the land that we just did. It's basically what land are you going to send a character to. You click on that, and then what character are you going to send it to. You go ahead and click on this. As you can see, my character is level 1. Power is level 10 because training is not available yet, and it's just it's basic uh base level, entry level uh, statistics or stats for, for your character. In a few weeks, and they have not provided the date yet, when training is available, I'll be able to send this guy or any of my other characters over to the training center and start leveling them up and getting higher and higher stats. Um, this guy is, uh, he's a double strength one, so when he goes to head levels up, his power is going to increase uh, faster than any of the other characters. But in order to stake him, you just go ahead and click on him. It's going to go through the authentication process. Again, it's, you have to go out and sign. And there we go. We have him staked, and he's he's just moving. He's, he's going to do 500 coal a day, uh, and I can just collect it whenever I want to. And how you collect is, is different. There's no big collect button here. You see these baskets? You may have noticed it as soon as I cl clicked on staking the character. Uh, it disappeared. So all I have to do is go ahead and click on this, and up here in the corner, it's going to show me uh, what I collected. Remember, I've only been... Uh, have them in there for maybe a minute maybe a minute so if i go ahead and click on this it's going to go ahead and say that i got 0 0.02 uh, amounts of coal so i can just continue to let that run over and over and over again um and i'll collect i can come back tomorrow collect 500 coal and so forth down the road it just gives you that extra extra materials and if you have all different types of land and all different types of characters it boosts your production quite a bit um, the next thing I just want to show you is how to actually recall it. Uh, it's pretty simple to unstake the items. First, you want to unstake the character by clicking on that. And you go ahead and click on uh, Recall Character. It's going to remove him uh, from the mine that you have there once you approve. And now you see I have no characters available. And now, say I want to recall the land itself. Just go to Close Mind. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to unstake, and that's how you go ahead and take it out of game. Please remember, once they're when they're staked, they're in game. You can't see them in your wax wallet. Uh, they're they're basically staked within the game. They're they're in the the game's wallet, uh, and that's how you pull them back out. That's how you do mining. It's pretty simple. Um, some of the toughest parts was just finding the URL. Uh, it was a little bit of tough finding that. And as far as the user usability, it's pretty simple. Like I said, this is the first version of mining. First version of Dungeon Worlds because I can already hear a couple of you saying that it's very click, 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 which understandable early stage. Uh, it's going to get, I, I'm hoping it gets, uh, like I said, deep and fun. 
Um, once it gets to the point where Dungeon Worlds is available and all the different features are available to allow you to run in different people's missions and people are running different promotions, uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting long term. We just have to get there. We have to let them do the work, uh, test a few things out and, and roll this out as it's ready uh, and not rush the process. If you have any questions about this, um, go ahead and leave it down below. As you all know, you heard from my announcement uh, last week. I have partnered up with uh, the Wombat team to bring you a number of beginner guides for Dungeon Masters, which we're rolling out the Dungeon Master beginner guides over the next few weeks. Uh, and then once more features are available, we'll go ahead and do some beginner guides for what's available in Dungeon Worlds. So if you have any requests for either Dungeon Masters or Dungeon Worlds as far as beginner guides go, go ahead and leave them down below. Also let me know, are you going to be jumping into uh, Dungeon Worlds? I'm going to be doing a dungeon as far as the Warrior Lion Gaming Channel. We're going to, we're going to promote, we're going to go ahead and sponsor a dungeon. Uh, it's going to be fun. Um, so we're going to get the community's input as far as the different rules that we have in there. So uh, feel free to let me know if you have any suggestions there. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.